Hey guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, what we are going to do once we actually upload the file, what we wanna do, we just basically want to want to hide this uh, this component. And we wanna show another component. It's just going to be in the same thing, okay? All we have to want to do is this label should be hidden, and we wanna show something else. So we can just put it inside the JSX like that. We can just have another uh, maybe use it thing. Going on right there, what we can do, we can just say, uh, what we want, use that hook, use that snippet. We're gonna have, uh, video selected. Set video selected is by default going to be false. Here we're gonna have, uh, if video selected is going to be false, then you wanna show this thing. Otherwise, you want to show something else. Alright? If it's not the case, then show something else. Don't eat my brain. And there's something else is just going to be another div, maybe. Alright. It's JSX file, right? Otherwise, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna say selected. Let's give it a try. Oh, we didn't actually did something, right? We did nothing. Handle upload. We're just console logging the file. So then console logging the files. What we wanna do? We wanna say set video selected is going to be just a positive of selected. Positive video selected, which is just going to be true basically. Upload a video. I mean, okay, so we got a selected right there. Nice job, guys. Alrighty, so we do have a lot of things to do. Not sure why it was at the very end of the things. Okay, do we have here something that will do 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 that caught in the very middle thing? We just have a label, and the label is doing its work. We have another thing, so we have the margin padding, margin, margin padding stuff, right? Okay, let's suppose that not actually suppose, I mean, we will have another thing. Just say, yeah, we want to copy this thing, okay? Paste it here. I want to say this thing is going to be just do for now. This ID now is not going to be a video file, it's going to be nothing. Because we don't need the ID basically. Input file, drop or click to upload your files. Well, no, not really. The things are going to be changed a little bit. Now we're going to have kind of like a progress bar on the very top. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let me just think about that one. We don't want any of these things to be there. Cursor pointer, no. We don't want the cursor to be pointer. We want the, the, just a simple border. And then uh, we have a flex body. We have a lot of margin. Padding. No, no, we don't need that much more padding. We need it to be flex column though, because we need to add the progress bar. And uh, yeah, we need to do that stuff. How do we make a custom good looking progress bar? Uh, well, there's a technique that's called uh, progress bar loading badly. What I have, what I have been searching bar. <laughs> Uh, tailwind, uh, CSS, maybe Tailwind React, what is that? Tailwind CSS progress bar, free examples and tutorials. Um, literally anything that is good. I mean, this thing can be good. This thing has the percentage going on, I will prefer this one. 
Oh yeah, it is very basic though, you know. It is just the text below. Why is the text below? Well, okay, it's 100, which means very light. We can give it just white color. Style is 25 person. We can set up the style by ourselves. Doesn't matter for us. And uh, then we have the background below. We don't want the background to be blue. We want the background to be more like you know rainbow stuff. The gradients coming in. Everyone coming in. Good. Or we can just have a simple low progress bar. Let me just copy this. We don't want any rainbows, the fancy stuff like that. It just makes that much more bad, to be honest. We'll have something like that. And if I do a refresh, okay, we have some issues. Alrighty. Uh, Bo, did you mean class name? Okay. Style is going to be width. Okay, you cannot be directly defined with the width like that though. I mean, there are a few rules that you have to understand before. Okay, working with. Uh, what is it? It has to be doubled. Is that it? Um. <laughs> okay, I know the issue. Exactly, I know the issue. Issue is okay. We are having somewhere a lot of padding that we don't want it to be. That we don't want to have. Yeah, padding twenty. Holy crap! I think padding three should do it. And uh, let's change the things. Let's, okay, let's say it's going to be true or one. Okay, we have this loading bar that is just so cramped up, it doesn't really know what it has to do. Width is going to be full. We don't know what is full width. Okay. Yep, looking good. Oh, well, we can have some like wait tricky. Okay, what is this thing? Whoa, why is there a margin of infinity? Oh, it's margin auto, that's why we're set up in the middle thing. Uh what if I say no, I don't want margin. Zero. It is going to go in the very end. Zero. Okay, his height just got incredibly bigger because we said somewhere. So we just said, okay, height is going to be hundred percent, right? No, height is not going to be hundred percent. That's your incorrect information. Say object. Object. Okay, line item center. Just click on a center. Uh. Why yelling at him? This didn't work out. I'm not sure though. There's an align align items center. Just click on the center. So basically, align items will just should just probably center over things. Align item center. Just okay. Align item center. This div doesn't really have much of a control over anything else. Alrighty, we got the thing. So if I'm giving this div 100 person height, it will be centered. Okay, I think this is a better approach of doing things. Align get them center, just click on the center. Hide the center. We don't need the margin. Okay, we just avoid the margin in any case. 
Okay, and now it is it is just 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 the same thing. Okay, it's basically the same thing. We achieve using margin auto. So what do we what do we want to do? Well, basically we have to do something that does make sense. I'm gonna say text white. So basically, only the text is just taking the space, not the blue stuff itself, right? Yeah, that's a thing that we didn't notice before. So we're just gonna say whatever we have inside here, it has its own space. So we're gonna have padding of maybe. Not really much of a padding though. Okay, never mind. We're gonna have another div. We're gonna call that div basically something like mm, maybe title. Have title, we're gonna have description, then we're gonna have options. Little description option, da, 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 nice. Ask flex, flex column. I want to have a title. I want them to be on the middle on the very left side. Justify start on the very left side. I'll just say have some like an input maybe. Input of type text. This style is going to be a label. The HTML4. Uh, title. Name is going to be title. ID is going to be title. Yep. It's working fine. Okay, the percentage also just got up. All right, good. We can also have some line height there. Okay, line through just means it is going to be line through. I meant to say line height though, but uh, never mind. We're going to do this thing using some different methods. Copy same thing, paste here for the description. It's going to be more like a text area. Okay, we're just compressing these things into this little step, in this little space. And at the end, very end, uh, we're gonna have something else, but I don't get it. Why are they all being compressed in this little chamber? Wait this. Okay. I would say wait this is gonna be somewhere around 80% yep 80% width oh, actually I said width 50 I mean this doesn't, really, this doesn't really matter I would say With any percent. Okay, so it stretches out a lot. Okay, we can have a margin top, you know, padding top a little bit more, like five. T 
10. Okay, they're not gonna be flex columns. No. Empty 5, margin top 5. Both of them. And uh, yeah, one second. Alrighty. Mm, let me think of something good. I can just say label the label thing. Mm. Style. Just X so like label is gonna be still gonna have a width of 150 pixels okay yeah something like that I don't like that's what I wanted Mm, good. And about the input or X area, they're going to have a weight of something like. One fifty pixel input or text area. One fifty pixels. 250, okay, 150 doesn't really matter. 50%. Okay, if I say 50%, is this one also? Yep. Say 50%. Okay, good. No good. Fifty percent hash important Okay, I'm gonna just go to do, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly do this thing. Wait, it's gonna be 50%. And we're gonna have a class name for both of them. Class name is going to be. They're gonna have a border. And uh, what are they gonna have? Gonna like kind of like gray, two hundred rounded. Outline none. I want them to be a little bit more bigger, but that's not an issue. I can just say maybe text. Excel Okay, you can also say 
something like padding too. Maybe. This gets even more bigger. No, padding one is enough. Text Excel. Uh, padding one. Description title. Okay. One second. Okay, those things are looking pretty dope. The title in the thing. Okay. Let me think about something else also. Okay, okay, so we have the description. He can just increase this thing. Basically, if he wants to write more in here, he can just write without any issues. And the progress bar isn't looking the best, but. We don't want it to look the way more bigger. So maybe we can have give it a, we can give it a little more hex oh, LG maybe. And instead of saying BG blue, we'll say BG amber, just to match our style. Being and four hundred. There's a long way to go. I think making that much longer isn't a good choice. Good dog day. Dude. MX is going to be more than five. Maybe twenty. Or maybe we want the progress to be on the very below section. How about that? I mean, usually we will have the progress to be shown on the very below part. Uh, and, and except the on the very top part, we don't see the progress usually. But that's the one thing. Let's just keep it the way it is. Are we having some height? Round the four. Round the four. Um, how do we manage the height? Uh, just say padding is going to be one. I'm in here. Oh, we are already defining the padding. Oh, 0 0.5. You gotta be serious. What is this thing? Whoa, whoa. That's a lot of padding. One seems pretty dope. 1.5 maybe. Mm hmm. One point five looking good. Rounded left for elbow. No. Hmm. We want it to be full rounded, but somewhat rounded. Yep, something like that. Okay, guys, I know I'm wasting a lot of time, but it's worth it. We have the title, we have the description, and at the end, we have a few more options. Okay, these options are going to contain our summit button, and our size, and our time taken. Hmm. I wanted to say new state snip for the video name. Size 
Okay, we also need a thumbnail though, right? It's going to be null by default. We also need to accept thumbnails. Yeah. So maybe another thing for description. Thumbnail we're gonna have input type is going to be file on change. You're gonna say get the e ref is going to be thumbnail file in thumbnail. Going to be another user ref statement, thumbnail file. Good on change. What is going to happen basically? We call a function. Upload thumbnail. We're not. We are not going to basically upload it. Or maybe we will upload it. Who knows? Constant upload thumbnail is going to take the a. Yeah, we're just gonna say basically thumbnail file dot files is going to be equal to e dot target of files. Mm, that's it. Right. Oh, basically, we don't even have to do something like that. We just have a ref thing, but we're seeing this thing because just to keep it updated. So later on, we can just upload the things right on the server. Okay, let's just keep it the way it is. It's for the thumbnail. We're gonna have it name it as thumbnail. -y. Wait, wait, fifty person. What does that even mean? No file chosen, no, it's just way too big. Oh, I guess the thing doesn't really matter. Class is equal to J6, blah blah stuff like that. Mm, what am I trying to do? We're gonna say to, uh, font size 8.5 RAM. Why not the text to Excel then? Font size is gonna be 1.2 RAM. 3. Where is it? Three, two, two point five. Yeah, basically, three just fits the things except the color. Yep, it looks good. So you can choose any file. You're also gonna set up the thing for it. One of this one also. Thumbnail class name width is gonna like that. Does it even need width? Ah, doesn't need width. We're gonna have here something like except is gonna be dot png dot jpg dot 
wbb dot okay what type of image formats are there i'm not sure though okay gonna okay one second one second one second one second guys image formats jpeg uh, jpeg dot t i f f whoa dot m p e g multiple is going multiple is going to be false we don't want multiple files allowed just one Okay, file two things working pretty fine. The thumbnail, title, description, the thumbnail, and then below we can have something like other file options. Okay, maybe we we'll just say copy the same thing. We can have some kind of label. Actually, we don't need really labels, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter for us anyway. More like a button. Okay, we don't need a label. So we need a button. Start upload. Justify content center. Okay, we're gonna have some class name BG Ember 500. We're gonna have rounded. We have padding two. Padding two. Start load. Yeah. Font bold uh, text text is going to be white. Excel actually bold doesn't really look good. Start upload. How about we have the enter font? I've heard about this one before. Font family. Enter. Okay, we don't have that font yet, but I have heard about that as well. Too a lot clean font. So start upload will just start uploading basically. That is good. We're gonna have the thumbnail right here, and we want to show the status of our uploading stuff like that. Uh, maybe we'll just show exactly over the start upload, exactly blow it. That should blow it. Gonna have something like div file name is going to be our video name dot slice. Okay, zero to we want just to show first twenty characters. We have another div, we wanna have, have the size of the thing. We just wanna show the video size and here we're gonna do a few things, we're not gonna statically we're gonna say set video name is going to be video file dot files dot name dot size 
set video size constants and then thousand ten thousand and then thousand million dot to fixed to MB generate no okay we're gonna have this video named and this otherwise you're gonna have nothing they're happy flex Column and uh, we're gonna have a there for these two bad boys class name flex so they, they, they can be together. Whoa, start the blow, just got way more bigger. It's got a lot more bigger. Where did that happen? Class name Justify Center Justify Center Name and then the size in the megabyte. Another thing is going to be div. Estimate size. But this estimate size is only going to show when I have another use state use use state thing right here. You want to say constant do, do, do. progress by default going to be now zero. So the progress is going to be whatever we're going to show in the progress section. Okay, I will just show everything. You want to say if. progress is greater than zero then I want to show this otherwise nothing uh, estimate size estimate time I want to take a look at how it does it look like Estimate time, yeah, boy. You can have a little bit difference between them, maybe. Class name, margin x, a little bit of like one margin. And there may be a little bit of text algae so that they can be a little more bigger. Okay, SM. They already are SM. Never mind. They're pretty fine what they are. When it's greater than zero, that means that it has been started. Then we want to show that thing, okay? Well, good, good, good. Let's see how it works. It's gonna be false. Okay. Okay, what the hell? I have no creeping idea. What is this? What happened? Ah! This label, this label killed everything. My bad, my bad. I wasn't aware of that thing though. Wherever it is that is labeled, we're gonna say something like Oh we can do one thing, we can just copy this thing, we can just apply it afterwards. 
got me so basically we will have the functionality to upload the video once the upload is done we have this thing right there that is good video size is none MB name is none okay boo boo zero zero dot size probably I guess that's the issue yep it was the issue size is 12.32 megabyte and let's see exactly what it is downloads folder is my video no this one 11.7 no way they showed me 12.32 megabyte well I'm not sure about that thing though We can do a console log just to make sure that Okay, what is the size? 12.32 big one. Yeah. Around that thing. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay? Everything else is pretty fine. We have the start upload, we have the thumbnail, we have the title description. We can upload the thumbnail. The progress will just start. And now we have to set up the progress start thing, right? We need did it set it up there yet? Then we have the progress right here. Progress and the uh, weight is just basically going to be our progress. Okay. Okay, let's let me just do one thing. Once everything is done, I I will finally click on this thing. Okay, let's say I clicked on the start upload button. On click I wanna have start upload function. <coughs> Is just gonna be an empty function stuff like that. And here, what we want? Okay, we basically just want. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna first of all create empty form data. Is equal to new form data. And then afterwards, what we wanna do? New form data. Um da -da 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 -da. Okay, so new form data da -da -da -da. We have all these input things, input things, input things. Could I just name this thing form? On submit E E dot prevent default, so it will not be submitted. I would say just like maybe the ID of this form. Not exactly ID. New form data in the form itself. Ah, well, yeah, I know what to do. We don't need to say something like that. No, no. Let it be do, okay? New form data. I'm gonna say first of all, data.append with the name of thumbnail we wanna send here. Our. What is that? We have video okay thumbnail file file dot files zero maybe the first one I'm not sure yet 
then we have the video the video file file is the first one then we will have the title okay we are saving the title somewhere values set values by default is going to be an empty object constant handle inputs is going to get the e constant value and the name out of it I'm going to say e dot target Set values is going to get the previous data. I want to say dot 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 paste all the previous data, and I want to say okay, not actually like that. I'm going to say. And then name with the value of value. What we are what we are basically just saying we're saying. Yeah, get all the previous uh, data we have inside this thing. That is basically just the empty thing itself, right? After we want to return all of them, previous one and the name, whatever the name is, this name, just change that value to the new value we got. If the name doesn't exist, add the name with the value. That's how simple it is. Where to just say, where is it? Uh, text area. On change, pass the e like that on change and then here we're going to also have this on change thing are we naming them properly name title description uh, I guess yeah that's it Upon the title, which is going to be value star title description console dot log the form data for now. Afterwards, everything is done. Let's hope not to see any error. Test. Test. Whoop. <laughs> That's an empty form. Okay, I guess it doesn't really console logs the value. I mean, and another thing I found the progress bar is not good. Rounded out full. Water radius is going to be okay. Width, width is just exactly zero. Okay, can it just be totally zero? No, because there's a little bit of thing right there. But never mind, it's all fine. Maybe it's because of the padding. Yeah, it is because of the padding. Padding top 1.5, we can have it like that. I'm going to say padding Y. Padding left, we can have like 1 maybe. I'm going to say 0.5. 
Huh? Alright guys, so now what we have to do is just basically uh did we fix that thing? No, we didn't fix it yet. So we're just saying da 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 Okay we have the progress. Maybe we just put it inside a span itself. In that spam, we can have a class name. Mm. Margin left of two, maybe. Yeah, then it, it may be fixed. Okay. Let's say the width is gonna be 25%. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Good. Now we have to just set up the uploading section. We will not set up the backend yet, but we'll set up the things we can do from our side. We need to say npmi xios because we would have used fetch api but the thing is fetch api doesn't uh, give us back the upload progress so we need to use xios in that case we'll just say okay start upload this is going to be our form data i'm not sure why i'm not seeing the form data basically but i hope it shows up perfectly in the backend we need to first of all test it out though okay video file 0 terminal file 0 let's do one thing let's do one thing let's say console.log terminal file dot file 0 yarn uh, dev this to for confirmation that exactly actually the things are working fine okay now upload the video let's say anything title description test choose the file any JPG file, gonna go to console. Yeah, it's fine, it's good, it's good. That means we're going the right path. Now we have to here say constant data is going to be await. Uh, we need to import Xios basically. Import <coughs> Xios from Xios, gonna say await Xios.post. Uh, your is going to be slash auth slash upload video upload video and then we have the data so data is just basically going to be our form data then we have settings here we're going to have your first of all headers headers are going to be content type uh, Multipart slash form data. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay, we're gonna have different things actually here. In the header, we're gonna have here the headers basically. The header, and then we're gonna have on download progress. No, the on, on upload progress. So it will actually return us a function. That's p. So p is going to have two things. It's gonna have one uh, p dot loaded, which means the function dot loader and dot total so we're gonna get two things we're gonna have how much uh, size size we have sent to the server and how much is the total size of the file that we have to send to the server so these are the two things that we need to see about and uh, what we're we gonna do with that thing um, okay we're gonna just say Set progress is basically going to get that p p dot loaded divided by p dot total both uh, multiply by hundred just for getting the percentage and then I'm gonna say dot to fixed then I'm gonna say math dot floor so basically I'm just doing what uh, we will not be seeing what is going to be the response of this thing because we'll create the backend uh, afterwards after creating a login and register page and follow the password page, front end, I mean to say. So basically what is going to what is this thing going to do? We're just gonna get uh, loaded how much we sent and how much is the total. We're gonna divide them together and we're gonna multiply them by hundred. That's how we get the percentage. And then percentage we can have dot a lot of things. So I'm just removing all the dots by saying dot to fix zero, which means no decimal should be there. And I'm saying we should have a math dot for for all of them. So whatever that we get, like we get something, we have something in the decimal, okay? Uh, one second. We're saying math dot fixed. To fix, we'll say to fix afterwards. 
doing uh, math of floor we'll just say to fix so now we what what we are going to say we're saying okay math the floor will just round off every single thing to the very lowest point uh, let me just show you some example we're going to say math dot floor two point okay we don't need to fix then we basically don't need to fix then okay great this was set progress so progress will set the progress and the progress will be updated here so everything will go on the way it has to go multipath is a weight function we need to make this one asynchronous for it in order to make it actually work okay good we cannot make this asynchronous this function cannot make asynchronous okay let's keep that in mind and well yeah that's uh, it for this video for the upload section video I guess it it looks kind of okay I mean not the best one but okay we're gonna do a few more things a few more last things I think this video is going to be go up to over and then we're gonna see we need to add a blur effect uh, search for blur background CSS blood background image not the image I'm gonna say yep that's it we want to do we basically want to blur out every single thing Okay. Um Whoa. I didn't want to just do this thing though. I mean the background of the every single thing. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I get it. So basically, we're just saying that in next is. Blur other div blur background div so blur other other divs JavaScript how to blur the div element Alrighty. So maybe we can say something like uh maybe we have a uh, uh, I'm just I'm just looking at it, okay. Body Alrighty. Mm hmm that's the issue. Take nested style issue. Nested style, okay. Oh yeah, we are actually defining some resources. Just the same thing.
Nope, nope, never mind. Wasn't much of an issue though. We will see about what to do with that thing because we're gonna just click on it anywhere else, you know. Once we okay, once another bug I found. What if we want to close this thing? Yep, yep, that's a thing, that's a thing. Oh, we basically didn't add something like that. Oh, yeah. We even did add the function if I click on this and if I don't want to. Oh, God, we have a lot of things to do. So we're gonna have a dirt. It's gonna wrap around. Okay, nah. What's this doing? P twenty first remoto. Um. Auto. Yeah, get in the middle. Not this one. It doesn't need an auto now. Okay, now what we want, we want to have uh, what do we want to have here? We want an icon. We want a font toss mic. Bar close, bar cross. What the hell is this? You see, they are showing me the option right there. This is that little. Bastard. I guess it has some kind of margin, does it? Why is that guy outside? No, 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 Okay, far close. It's being outside. I just want to have some like justify end want to be text XL three XL. I want it to be a little bit below. Why is it being outside? I don't I have no idea. I don't have an idea. Oh, so this thing's I have to say position absolute. Once I say position absolute. Display flex, justify content, and no, nah, it will not matter then. Say left zero percent. I mean right zero percent. Margin zero auto. Hmm, just got in there. Okay, absolute is not a Okay, ready to is the only solution. But then we have a condition. To make a ready to we need to do some only to make sure it gets in this thing label. Gets in the label, gets in the label, how do we get it in the label? Label label label. Okay, we know, I know solution. Great, great. I know exactly what I have to do. 
yes, I exactly know what I have to do. Other than just making a 3x, so that's something I don't want to do. Okay, what is x null section? Oh, it's the margin. We have the margin, that's why. We have margin of 20. No, I don't need the margin of 20. Video file, okay, let it be margin of 20. But the video file should not have padding of 20. Nope, I don't want the padding to be 20. I can do another thing though. I can make another div here. I mean, div into div into div. I can just say class name is going to be equal to. Uh, margin padding 20. Oh, we have a padding 20 now. We still not. You should just be like, no, I'm not doing it. This is just so complicated. Yep, that's right. That's what I want. I just want it to be outside of this thing, right? Great, 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 great. We're doing right. Margin, margin right is going to be one, maybe. We have the close button thing. We're going to have a Z index of. What is the Z index of the upper thing? That's the index of 40. I have on click. Here is a thing. What do you want to do? Uh, here, we need to make some context API to control over video component. Mm. Do we need to make? Do we have to make context API? Or just controlling that thing. Um, no. Say use the snipped video upload video. Set set a video, okay. We'll just do a little bit of prop drilling, drilling, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we need to have use state in here. And then we'll give it to the this one and the navbar. Right, right. Okay, do we need to give it to the navbar? If I click on it. I should be able to do something, right? Nice. I'll just say, okay, in the video upload, I will just give it two things and just give it. Mm. I will just give it a function. Video. For video, I will give it both of them. Now, I'm going to give it this function. Upload D. Set. Upload D.
I just want to make it a little bit more smaller. Alrighty, by default this is going to be false. And uh, in this section, we're going to have set up body, body. We're going to get both of them. We're going to say okay, wrap it around an empty. This thing. I want to say if upload D is defined, then I want to show this thing. If it's not, then nothing. And the on click, where was I saying the on click function? If you want to close that thing, and the close thing, close thing, close thing, bar close this thing. On Set upload D. It's gonna just be a function. Opposite of upload D. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to false. Okay. In the navbar, we'll just say upload video. We'll just upload video. Upload D. Actually. Set upload D, the function itself, right? If I upload, so if I clicked on this one, it's gonna be a function that's going to call this function and change its value to true. I'm not sure what is going to happen. We are going to find out. I clicked on this. I clicked on this. Okay, just call that function anyway, right? Okay, well, we have conditions over conditions. We are running two on click functions. I have an idea. So basically, we're just going here. Its area is very little, right? Its area is just very compromised. So we have to say maybe weight is going to be hundred percent of this thing, or maybe we just say padding is going to 10 pixel so it does have control of a large area thing nah <laughs> it's just gonna do it it's just going to force us to open that thing because it's inside the label so what do I click you inside the label it doesn't really matter or No, there isn't much of a choice we can do. Let me think of a good solution that we can actually use. Our only option will be force ourselves into this thing. We have to be outside of this thing. You're gonna have to be like that. Then we have to say margin minus minimum minus stuff like that. <laughs> and that's how we do it. <laughs> Put your way inside it. Mm, where do you go? Where do we go? Video selector, then I want to show this. Bar close, I can do it. And uh, one right of one. 
Okay, what is this? Okay, now it doesn't really work. Wait a minute. It's this thing, right? Oh yeah, it's this thing. Oh, basically, its exact position is this. Its position is not that. Uh huh. Absolute position. Okay, then it's going to close if we have an absolute position. But with having an absolute position, things are not gonna go the thing the way we want them to. Let's absolute and let's see how it goes. Okay, what the hell is this? Okay, why do I keep doing this thing? Oh. Basically, I need to say in here style. I was applying the property on the wrong thing. I guess I did it. No, 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 no. Margin should be ignored. I'm gonna have it absolute. Like that, it's on the very left side. Relying items. Flex and text align. I'm just trying to make sure this thing can be moved. Oh, uh. Okay, it doesn't move an inch. It's not moving an inch. Just a minute. Okay, we can have a margin left on this thing. That's in the middle. How about margin auto? Nothing. Okay, margin left is only limited to 20, right? So it is incredibly hard for us to just go on the way to the right. Because we are absolute already. So we will only listen to absolute things. Oh, we can do another thing. We don't need the close option. Do, 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 do. We don't need the close option. Do, 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 do. Option. Need the close option. Guess what we can do? I've heard about this thing before. It's called click outside of div. Detect outside, click react. Alrighty, that is open. I will come back. Okay, I'm not finding a correct solution, but I have something in mind. Okay, I'm thinking to do something like you know, a uh, window, element listener, click. It's so, a function. I'm gonna return the Element function 
console.log e Okay, this is basically gonna work anywhere. It's trust, I think they also return us the element at the path. Yep, the path. So I'm gonna say ID is gonna be video upload component. E dot path dot close nice. uh, close I say this no they didn't say something nothing they said does not include well, they'll just say it doesn't include even if it includes. Alright. So basically, I have to say also the huh? path. Ash video for component. Mm -mm. Onto the log e dot path. I want to see what is up. I click here. I get this. Click here. Click here. HTML object, HTML object. Hmm, what am I say? What can I say about it? Includes document dot query selector. It includes mm -hmm. that thing. Yep, yep, great. That's exactly what I wanted. If it doesn't include, then what I want to say, I want to say. Lows this thing false. Window dot remove event listener. Click. I want to do this. Console log. Clicking just for making sure. What's up? Um, if what day is there? I want to run this thing, but it's going to run only one time, right? So we're going to have no clicks. I'm gonna have no click detections. I'm gonna say, yeah, run it as many times as this thing is rendered. Remove it, this thing. Go on, what's new? Huh? 
Um, and resize. Okay, yeah, then it has a color function. Where we want to do nothing. Clicking, clicking. It's just multiplying itself. Yep, it is multiplying itself. Well, that's what I hate about these things. Okay, I will see you in a minute. So the thing is actually, you know, we don't. Even if we have this email listener, it's just going to do nothing, right? Event listener. Or we can do another thing. We can do another thing. If upload D, I don't want to put this in my listener. Good. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. If I upload D, maybe then we have some kind of set timeout. Two seconds. No, that's the worst choice. Okay, I'm just still doing a few things. Let's say traffic outside of video plug component, or it's outside of video plug component one. It's gonna be the same thing. I'll explain in a minute what I did because I don't even know if this is going to work or not. Okay, let me do a refresh. Clicking fine. I click outside, it just stopped it. Okay, I click outside, it just stopped this thing. Okay, now, now let's see. And don't console log the path. Let's do a refresh. Upload, click outside, click outside. Yep, it's detecting the outside click and click again and click outside. It's still de now detecting it multiple times. Add email list now. Window to remove each one event list now. So Control.log E. Window.remove event listener. Okay, I will come back in a minute. Okay, guys, so I didn't complete this video yet fully. I'm really sorry for that thing. But I guess we did set it up this thing, right? Now we need to set up the close option only. Okay, we will have a button. We'll create a button. Okay, if the label is here, what is going to happen basically? Uh. Drop or click to upload a video. We want something like cancel, right? Uh, where are we gonna show the cancel thing? Okay, let's see what this YouTube has to say. YouTube. What he has to say. Okay, YouTube just has the close button. 
why don't we just show something like that right yeah that will be very good okay I know what to do now I exactly know what to do so what are we going to do we're gonna have this here selected this div right there after this div we're gonna have another div and then the div is gonna have a font tossing icon of Back close. Are you can close anywhere else. Yeah, I'm just putting the close. I have back close. We're gonna have a class name for this one. Gonna call the class name something like text to Excel. Let's justify end. Should be on the very really right side. And we are having here dash it right. Style is dash it. But what I want is I want the dash to be this. Um, I mean it's not looking the best, but not gonna complain. And we'll do the same thing for. Okay, we have somewhere rounded, right? Rounded, rounded. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle away. I will just go away. Rounded. He got it rounded, and now this thing is gonna have a BG color of maybe gray, a little bit darker. Five hundred. Maybe same BG color. How about that? We will never know. Mm. Margin right two. Okay, not here, not here. Class name. Uh, it's gonna be margin right two. Okay, I don't want this thing to be rounded. They're still saying it's rounded. Right? Yeah, it looks good now. If I click on that button, it should just close it, right? Yeah. Good, good, great. I want to say on click. Set upload D is gonna be false, and maybe we're gonna have it give it a cursor, a pointer. I click on this button, okay. Video upload to set state bad. Oh my bad. Hold the function like that. Okay, we're gonna click on this. We're gonna click on close. It's just gonna close. Open, close, open. Uh, okay, it's not working here. Basically, we're saying margin right. Instead, we're gonna say padding right. Yeah, it's, they're gonna do the same thing. But what's gonna change? We click on here. It's, it's just gonna close. Okay. I click anywhere on the top. Uh, do we do we want it to close? Do I? Yeah, I need to. Nice. So close. So that's gonna add a good thing. I click anywhere on the top, it's just gonna close it. Well guys, that's it. Congratulations on making uh successfully making of the upload video. I can just upload the video right there and it's just gonna show me something like that. Well yeah, basically it's just gonna show me something like that. And maybe we could have um Made it a little more bigger in size and longer, I'm gonna say, in height. Mm -hmm. Height is 50%. It doesn't really matter. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.